Master Geo here with a review of the NECA Leatherface, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 action figure. I picked this up yesterday at the last day of Toy Fair 2019 over at the NECA booth, and I have been meaning to own it for a while, and since I got it at Toy Fair, I'm going to review it for you guys. Before we open it up, let's take a look at the packaging, which is gorgeous. You will see, of course, that this figure is based on Leatherface's look in Part 3, a movie I personally enjoyed quite a bit. In fact, I like it more than Part 2. I think it's more in tone with the original Toby Hooper classic, which is one of my absolute favorite movies of all time. Now, actually, let's go back to the front. This gorgeous artwork is courtesy of Jason Edmiston. So we see here that Leatherface has got a nice little bloody outfit. And he comes with an Excalibur chainsaw. Let's flip it over. Packaging. This tells you uh, the plot of Part 3. And has a cool little pose of... Uh, Leatherface. Alright. Let's uh, open it up and see what he looks like out of the package. And here we see him out of the box. The head can move right to left. Arms are stiff actually. They can they have some mobility up and down. There's a little bit of elbow mobility. Wrists can go in and out. There doesn't seem to... Yes, wrists do move around as well. There's some knee movement, but it is stiff. Legs can go up. And you can spread them to a certain... Quite well, actually. Um... Well, leg with the brace is also movable. Um, again, a little stiff. There's uh, some movement as well on the uh, up and down on the feet. The uh, waist doesn't seem to move. I don't want to force it because of the cloth. Let's get his uh, chainsaw on. One of the things you'll notice is there's a little opening here for the fist to be able to hold the chainsaw. I myself was wondering how it how it was going to be, and right here there's another uh, there's a little bit of an opening for you to slide it into his fists. You know when I got it, I was like, but his fists are closed. How is he going to hold his chainsaw? That's how it is. All right. Now let's go and put it on him. All right. And now he's holding his chainsaw. So one of the things I noticed was you have to use the left hand to hold the this part of the chainsaw since it's the only one that's loose enough to wrap around the chainsaw, which means the trigger will go on the right hand, which is fine, I suppose. Um, he can stand up with the chainsaw. Uh, you should open up his legs just a little bit to give him a little bit of balance. And, yeah. He is ready to chop up some people and serve some uh, lunch or dinner with human meat. Mmm, yummy. Um, of course, due to the weight of the chainsaw, you know, any slight movement might tip him over, so... Keep that in mind when you pose him around, but he looks cool, he looks badass, and he's definitely ready to kick it. Kick some ass, that is. Alright, so if you are a fellow horror fan, fan of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface, you need to get this figure. Um, it might be my favorite Leatherface figure I've seen so far. It's a definite must-have in the collection, in your horror collection, it's not part of mine. And uh, once again, Nika have knocked it out of the park. You know, they are, without a shadow of a doubt, one of the best companies for us horror fans. Uh, they love horror movies as much as we do. 
and their product shows it. All right, this is Master Geo signing off. Until next time, you can hear the roar of the chainsaw. Bye.